But there's a little taste of the sounds on this vintage Martin 0018 guitar. Um, for some reason, I'm spacing on the year. I'm pretty sure it's in 1966, but look at the title or in the listing. This is a really nice sounding instrument. Really great sustain. Nice full sound, especially for a smaller bodied Martin. Again, it's not a dreadnought, so don't expect that, but really nice, full, ringing sound. You know, classic Martin X bracing on here. Um, still early enough to get the smaller maple bridge plate. A lot of the features that you really like. Medium uh, neck profile. It's a, a V-ish C, so it's kind of like got a little bit of that classic Martin V, rounded V profile, but a little bit into the C. So I definitely say it's a chunky medium neck as far as Martins go. This guitar has been fully serviced, which means that it has had a neck reset in its lifetime. The bridge has been re-glued. It's got a new saddle that's properly compensated for the best intonation that you can get. Uh, a new bone nut as well. Um, so all that work is not cheap. Um, you know, cost of acoustic repairs have gone up. In my area, all the repair guys are a lot busier than they used to be. Um, if you were just a private individual going in to get this work done, the neck reset, bridge re-glue, saddle, refret, setup, that would run you probably as high in some places as $1,200 to $1,500. So please keep that in mind when evaluating this guitar and thinking about buying it. Can you find one that's priced lower out there? Yeah, you probably can, but if it needs a neck reset, which it will if it hasn't had it, bridge work, saddle, setup, maybe a refret, uh, how much money are you really saving? So anyway, I think I have this one priced well for what it is, uh, but please keep that in mind when evaluating the price. Um, aside from the stuff I've already said, which is standard servicing, you will note that it does have a more recent tuners on there. Um, you can restore this to stock. What you would do is buy conversion bushings. The bushings are these things. Stumac sells them. Just type in conversion bushings and uh, it fills up the little bit extra space that the replacement tuners will do. It keeps kind of a vintage look and allows you to put on there um, kind of more classic looking uh, open back Grover style tuners or whatever tuners you want. Um, I'm just leaving them. Um, you know, what's done is done on this guitar as far as I'm concerned. So I'm just gonna leave it. Comes with this uh, vintage case. Um, I don't think it's original to the instrument, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's got kind of like a marigold yellow lining to it. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely guitar. Uh, the other thing I'd say is there seems to be like some kind of smudge right here on the lacquer. Um, anyway, there's no cracks on the guitar. It's nice and lightweight. It sounds very good. It's got normal wear on it. Presents very nicely. Some finished checking, some wear here and there. Uh, nothing to write home about. It's a couple dings, you know, some wear here on the neck. A little ding there on the edge and right here some right there somewhere and a little ding by the uh, first fret none of that you really notice when you're playing really like this guitar like uh, these small bodied martins sometimes i get the question well if it's so great why aren't you keeping it well, I've got a lot of guitars and I, I can't keep everything. I, the one that I have right now that's my quote unquote keeper is a 1942 0018. So you gotta ask yourself, which one do you wanna keep? The 42 or the 66? Well, I'm gonna keep the 42, uh, even though the 66 is a great guitar, so. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Um, the best place to buy this guitar for you and for me is on my website. The link to that website is below my shop website. One bonus about buying it there is that at checkout, you won't be charged sales tax unless you're in Washington State. I have to legally charge you if you're in Washington State, but not if you're outside of Washington State. I'm small enough that I still am under all the thresholds. So um, that's the best place for you to get the guitar. Thanks for checking out. If you have any questions, contact me. See you later. Have a great day.